So today's video is going to be more casual, kind of like a um, vlog style video because I'm going to be doing a trial and thoughts review video on these masks, which I'll show you guys in a little bit. And these were all gifted to me by Bizo Beauty Bar, which is local here in Vancouver. They are an online um, Korean beauty shop. So if you guys are interested, I'll leave their links and the links to the products that I'll show you guys in a little bit down in the information bar down below so you guys can check it out but I just want to say thank you so much to Bizel Beauty Bar for giving me the opportunity to try out these So the mask I'll be trying guys. out today is the Lindsay Lavender Modeling Mask and this is what it looks like here. They also gifted me the Lindsay uh, Calendula Modeling Mask as well. And they also sent me some little samples as well. These are the It's Skin um, tonics. So one is the uh, tonic ginseng, and then the other one is the tonic escargot, I think. Descargo, I don't know how to say it, but that's the little samples they sent me. They also sent me a little sample of the um, Too Cool for School Pumpkin Sleeping Mask, which I think is really cute with a little pumpkin like so. I've never tried any sleeping mask before, so or sleeping pack, sorry. So I'm excited to try that. And then they also sent me the Too, school, or Too Cool for School um, Fresh Gore Sleeping Pack as well. So I'm super excited to try so these sleeping I'm packs. So today I'm going to try out the Lindsay Lavender Modeling Mask. And on the Bizo Beauty Bar website, it retails for $8 Canadian. And I'm going to read you guys what this is all about so you guys kind of get the gist of what this mask is about. The Lindsay Modeling Rubber Mask are formulated with alginate, botanical nutrients, clay, amongst other things. The powder turns into a rubber-like material when mixed in with water, thanks to the alginate. And when applied to your skin, will hug and conform the contours of your skin, making sure you will feel and enjoy all the benefits of the nutrients soaking into your skin and clarifying your pores. Sounds cool. I've never tried any like rubber masks before. I've tried paper masks and like, you know, other masks, but I've never tried a rubber mask, so I'm super excited. And it says how to use. To be used on clean, dry skin, which my skin is already clean. I just washed it and it's dry. I put nothing on it or just pat it dry with my towel. And then it says you may put on your favorite serum before applying the mask as well to enhance the effects of the serum as well as the mask. Today I won't be applying any serum. And it says pour water into the mask cup to the mark line. Use a slightly less amount if you would prefer a thicker consistency for the mask. Using the spatula provided, mix with until it gets to be a thicker paste. Spread an even and thick layer onto your skin. Leave for 10 to 15 minutes or until the mask becomes solid and rubbery. You will see the edges of the mask start to peel and become dry. Gently peel the mask off your face, which is the fun part. <laughs> if there is any mask residue left over, rinse off with lukewarm water. Follow with your skincare routine. And it says here, lavender is um, use the or use the lavender rubber mask to get an instantly brighter and smoother skin tone. Lavender extract in skin care is relaxing, soothing, and calming. A perfect treat for your skin, which my skin right now definitely needs a boost. So I'm excited to see the results. Started, let's go so over let's the packaging started. of this guy. It just comes in this plastic little tub container here, and it has like a purple um, kind of background, which goes with the lavender, of course. And basically, you just open the lid and here once the lid is off you just peel back this packaging here and there is the powder or the powder portion of the mask and it comes with that so i wanted to show you guys what well. the spatula looks like it's kind of cool it has like this half circle on the top and that spatula portion on the bottom and i actually um smelled the powder a little bit it has this very sweet light lavender scent which i really enjoy so i'm gonna go ahead and, and that add is some the water line right now. there that i'm going to stop I'm going to go ahead and mix enough. this and I'm using the longer side of the spatula until it's a thick and uniform consistency. I'm going to apply this to my face using the spatula and I'm just going to apply it evenly and as you mix this it's, it has that, the smell is just so, I don't know, it just smells really good. Very light scent of lavender and you can even see that it has like those little lavender specks in so it as well. remember when I said that you have, it's pretty much an arm workout, you actually have to mix this mask 
really really fast before it kind of gets rubbery and everything I am such a dum dum. <laughs> I took forever mixing that lavender mask that it actually got rubbery on me so I um, couldn't really apply it to my face. It just got really thick so I actually had to throw it out which I'm so sad about because it smelled so good but I did have a chance to apply some on my face before it did get rubbery and when I took that piece off that I did apply on my face that part of my skin just felt so smooth and it just that patch looked really really nice as well so I'm really sad that I had to throw it out because um, my mistake I actually took a really long time to apply or mix it and apply it because I was trying to like um, catch it on camera and everything but note to self if you're using this mask you definitely have to mix really fast and then apply it to your face really fast before it thickens up and turned into a rubber mess. So on my face now, I actually am using the uh, Calendula modeling mask now. <laughs> and this mask, it when you apply it on, it actually um, has this kind of warming sensation, which is very nice and relaxing. The lavender mask. This is kind of good. I actually can tell you about both masks. Um, the lavender mask actually has like a cooling sensation on my face, which I found very nice as well. And this one has like a warm sensation. But in this mask here, you can see these little like um, orangey yellow specks in it. I'm gonna go ahead and read about this because I'm wondering if it's lemon or orange peels or something in here. Oh, but now that I have the calendula mask on, I'm gonna read to you guys what this is all about. <laughs> it says, if you have extremely sensitive and irritable skin calendula is calling for you with real calendula flower extract so that's what those orange specks are this rubber mask will calm soothe and restore dry and damaged skin calendula is gentle enough that is often an ingredient in diaper cream do you want baby bottom soft skin sign us up interesting <laughs> so um yeah this is what that mask is all about and um, I try to apply I guess a thick even layer all over my face I can feel it like hardening up to that rubber consistency which is pretty cool and the thing about this mask is it actually I can feel it hugging my face so I'm like when it hugs my face I can feel like it's getting into all of the nooks and crannies of my face which is nice and I'll talk about this uh, spatula it was actually like I held the handle right here and then I just mixed it. It actually was very nice to use and it does have sort of a tiny flexibility to it. I wish the spatula had a little bit more flexibility to it so I can apply it just um, a little bit more easy on my face but um, the spatula did its job and yeah this is what the mask looks like on. I'm gonna wait about 10-15 minutes and I'll check right, back so with you guys. About 10 minutes and as you guys can see it's very, um, the consistency very rubbery and everything and you can sort of see, see it peeling on my lips right here because I was talking earlier to you guys. <laughs> but it's just a very cool consistency. It's very interesting. So now I'm gonna go ahead and start peeling this off. Ooh, it's very easy to peel off as well. That's so crazy. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> That's crazy! That's so cool! And I still have these little um, bits stuck on my skin as well. I'm just gonna go ahead and rinse my face with warm water and I'll check that out. So I just finished drying off my face and I'm just feeling it right now. It feels so smooth. Like, I'm not even kidding you. Even like where the around my nose area usually it feels very dry but right now it just feels so smooth and actually looks very very soft as well like i'm so amazed it's so crazy but um yeah so to wrap up this video my final thoughts on the Lindsay um modeling mask is I actually really enjoyed it except for my first fail on the um <laughs> lavender mask but I'm pro at it now um I would definitely go ahead and um repurchase this and would recommend it to you guys it actually is a very it's not only fun it actually works very well i'm very amazed my skin just feels so soft right now and this is without um, applying any of my face products right now i could totally just go out and be like good for the day but of course i'm gonna go ahead and apply my face products but my face just feels so soft right now i'm just like so amazed it just looks smooth and 
oh i love it <laughs> but yeah i would totally recommend it to you guys um the pros i did like how the mask um kind of hugged my face and it just felt like it went into every um, nook and cranny of my face and it was fairly easy to use it didn't take a lot of time um, the mask smelled very good it wasn't stinging or anything to my face and also um, i love the result it's, my face feels just so smooth and so great right now and the other bonus is it was very very fun to use so my first rubber mask experience was very um, positive afterwards <laughs> um, the only con I can think of is how well it's not really a con I guess it just comes with the nature of a rubber mask how fast you have to mix it in order to um, apply it to your face and have it um, set on your face instead of set in the little tub there that's the only thing and the second thing is I wish the spatula was a little bit more flexible so I can apply it to my face a little bit more easier but um, all in all I think it is a um, great mask to use and I would recommend it to you guys it's just I'm pretty amazed and that was a really good experience. I definitely have to go order me some more of these rubber masks. Even though $8 per tub, it's a one-time use thing. Um, that tub actually, it it was a good amount for my face. If you have like a smaller face, it might be a little bit too much or if you have um, a little bit bigger face than what I do, um, it will be more than enough for you as well because in that little bottle, I think it was a little bit too much for my face size. So I think $8 is a pretty good deal for that mask since the benefits seems to be really, really good. <laughs> so that's pretty much my trial and thoughts review on the Lindsay modeling mask. If you guys tried it, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below, or if you have any questions or comments, leave it down below as well. Thank you guys so much for watching this casual vlog style video. And let me know if you guys like this style video and I will definitely film some more for you guys. So I'll talk to you on the next video. Bye guys. Mwah. Thanks for watching. Bye.